I'm switching EDC setups from my trusty Glock 19X with that Surefire X300, but it's not for the reason you might think. So this is my Glock 19X. I've been running this thing for years. We sent the slide off to get it milled. I specifically looked for somebody who would mill that slide without having to recoat the whole thing because I actually like Glock's coating on this slide. I went ahead and I got a PMM comp and barrel for this. I've got the Surefire X300 turbo and you can see why in a video link down below. And for the last many months, I've been carrying outside the waistband, but concealed using our origin holster. This is a spectacular setup. This holster is built to fit just about any modern pistol running that X300 or X300 turbo light because it retains on the light. And boy, that fits this Glock like it was meant for it, but it does have extra room. So if you wanna run a Springfield XDM 10 millimeter, for instance, you can do that. The cross tack belt has been just fine. I really do like the Cobra buckles. It makes it easy to, to buckle and unbuckle. For the last couple of months, I've been running the Cloud Defense of MCH Duty. It's a little bit larger of a handheld. I don't really mind that too much. I do like the fact that it's got multiple modes. It allows me to go high mode, first time, every time, get that on, get that on target. And then if I need to step down for administrative use, I can go ahead and do that too. The switches have been a little bit funny for me they get a flicker sometimes. So I'll go ahead and press on and the light will flicker. And I don't really prefer that. I prefer a light that when I hit the switch, it turns on and uh, doesn't flicker on me. So what am I thinking of changing to? Well, I have here the Sig Sauer P365X Macro Comp. I have the very nice Foxtrot 2R light on there, which we've found to have really good candela output. I'm running the Hollow Sun EPS Carry, which we've got a number of Hollow Suns in the shop and they've never let us down. I'm running the factory Sig sights, and as you can see, that EPS Carry mounts so low that you can still use those factory sights. Of course, being the X Macro, this has a 17 round mag that gives me almost as much in terms of firepower as I was running on the Glock. And it's in a much slimmer setup. This should carry appendix carry very well for me in our M6 holster right here. So what I'm hoping for out of the new setup is first to be running something that mirrors what a lot of our customers are running. Secondly, We've been making some enhancements to the M6, and I really wanna see how well those are working out in everyday use. And finally, we're going to be experimenting with some mag carrier attachments that are improved for our radius system. We're gonna be looking closely at that to see how we can make a better system for you. We've been shooting variations of the P365 within the shop off and on for years, and they hold up well. And with the optic here, this being the Hollow Sun EPS carry with the closed emitter, this should set up pretty well for me, mirror a little bit of what I was running before, just in a slightly smaller package. This is the EDC Turbo from Surefire. This is a brand new light. Been running it just a few days. I really do like the switches. Momentary is nice. And then I can go ahead and step down to a lower output. That works really well for a lot of administrative duties or if I need to find my way around the house in the middle of the night without waking up my wife. That works pretty nicely. It's a slim setup. It's about as big as just about any of the other 18350 lights except for the MCH Duty which has a larger head. The pocket clip being steel, I don't know if I'm going to be in love with because I've really gotten used to using the Theorem Switchback. On the other hand, carrying it just this last weekend, I will say that it feels a lot slimmer in the pocket without having that big finger ring hanging off of it. And honestly, with a weapon mounted light, do I really need the switchback? Maybe not. The 511 Maverick Assaulters belt is just another one of these nylon belts that uses a Cobra buckle and has Velcro to attach. The Velcro is a little bit different than what I see in some of the other ones. It's a little bit a little bit wider as well. Of course, this is an inch and three quarter belt. So I'm gonna be using the inch and three quarter belt clip 
on my M6 holster. And if anybody cares, I'm always carrying a little Benchmade. This is the carbon fiber Benchmade. It is compact and super lightweight. And of course, since it was a gift, I like to carry that. I carry a Pixel 7. This happens to be running Graphene OS, which is a more secure operating system. And I am running voice over IP for all my phone numbers. And this phone very seldom connects to cell towers. And for years I've carried a Trayvax wallet, which I've found to be pretty nice, slim, heavy duty, as well as helping protect against some of the RFID scanning of items in the wallet. And this has worked out pretty well for me as well. So the next thing I have to do is I have to sight this pistol in and get a good number of rounds through it. Typically I would say 500 to 1000 rounds is gonna be what I would wanna put through a pistol before I felt comfortable carrying it, seeing how well it performs and making sure I'm not going to get some sort of odd discharge problems where the pistol fails to run in the way I expect. So let's go do that at the range. Well, so here is the EPS carry on top of that P365 X Macro Comp. And I've got to sight it in, but I have not sighted in a pistol in some time. So let's see how I do. I look like I need to bring it down. I think we're sighted in. Let's see. There's two. Hold that one. It is easy to shoot. I prefer a little bit more on the back so I can get a little bit better grip here, but it really is pretty easy to shoot. I'm, I'm pleased. It's, uh, let's go see what we can do. I'm pretty close. It's all A zone, but, uh, you can see as I go fast, I'm pulling them to the left a little bit. Yeah, those were my first two shots. And then as I'm opening up, and then the very last one, I pulled it way high. The pistol's easy, but uh, let's, I, since I just got done shooting this, let's go ahead and shoot the Glock 19X and see how I feel with these back to back. Here's the 19X. It's a little dry. All right, this is easier to shoot. <laughs> it's just so flat. I gotta say, if I gotta go fast, this is still gonna be my preference. But I bet you I can get pretty good on that X macro if I just get a little time behind the trigger. So the one thing I, I really appreciate about this SIG as opposed to the Glock, like we, we got a ton of rounds on the 43X or 48, and it just chewed up my thumb. As a matter of fact, I can still see a red spot there and a groove in my thumb where I got the slide bite and I don't get any slide bite out of this X macro. I love that. It's small, it's easy to shoot, and it doesn't chew up my hand. Now, of course, if I was comparing against the 19X, the 19X doesn't do it either. All right, 
right, so I think it's time to try it with some of SIG's hollow points. These are 124 grain, nine millimeter hollow points. Um, we'll see how well it does. Of course, we got to test it with hollow points because that's what we would be running in a defensive scenario. No failures. I like that. It's a little snappier, but it's really still easy to shoot. I like it. I think this is gonna go on my belt line for a while. And it's hot. My bottom line is this pistol is ready to run. We've got it sighted in, got at least a couple hundred rounds through there, including 15 rounds of hollow point, zero problems. It's easy to shoot. It's probably not quite as accurate for me as the 19X, but training can compensate for that. And still, I think it's combat accurate enough for a defensive situation. It's short, it's easy to carry, it's got a great optic, it's been reliable. Let's go run the thing and find out how well it works. I probably should get a couple of classes and I should definitely get more rounds in it, but for now, it looks really good. So as I change over to the P365X Macro Comp, do you have any questions for me or suggestions? In addition, is there anything you saw in this video that you'd like to see more information on? Please leave a comment down below. We love to get that viewer engagement. And of course, if you are in the market for a light bearing holster, please check out works.com. Dark times call for light bearing holsters. And we at Works specialize in precision fit holsters for pistols with lights. Thanks so much for watching. Have a blessed day.